and welcome back to another episode of Disguise Thoughts. Like always, I appreciate swinging by and watching a beer review. Uh, I did wrap up the Christmas 2020 beer reviews. Then I went to the uh, bottle shop and um, picked up some more. Uh, There's a few of them there that I couldn't resist trying out, so I went ahead and I picked them up. Uh, so I guess we're going to continue uh, the uh, Christmas beer reviews here on the channel. So, hey, like always, uh, appreciate swinging by to watch a review. Like, subscribe, comment, check me out on social media, hit that notification bell. Uh, right now, I got one here out of uh, Urban Artifact. This here is their Christmas Pickle. Dill Pickle Christmas Goza. 4.3% uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, IBU not listed. If I can find one, um, I will have it listed below as usual. So, uh, before we get into the artwork, back in the summer of 2020, I did the uh, um, Urban Artifact release their Spicy Pickle. Uh, an L with cucumber, uh, sea salt, blah, blah, blah. Part of their Epicurean series. Check out the review on that. This here is their Christmas version of it. So it doesn't say anything about being spicy. It just says dill pickle uh, Christmas goza. So it's actually the second um, pickle-y, pickle-style goza I've had from them this year. So now let's get into this artwork. Hey, just screams Christmas, winter season. Everything about this. You got the uh, Urban Artifact truck right there making a delivery. You got a uh, reindeer, or deer anyway. Uh, you got a uh, couple of houses in there all decorated up with Christmas decor. Decorations, tr uh, looks like Christmas lights and um, I don't know, reeds. You got the uh, pickle vending cart right there. So artwork, five out of five. You see this on the shelf, no mistaking, it's a Christmas beer. You see that says uh, Christmas uh, Xmas Pickle. Dill Pickle Xmas Goza is actually how they printed it on there. But uh, I say Christmas. So I'm going to use the Wally World mug here. Uh, glass here for this one here. Crack this thing open. And uh, see what it's all about. Ooh, I, I already smell uh, a pickliness in the air. So... I'll leave that there. You know what? Yeah, I'll leave that there for you. Maybe I'll to turn it later so you can see some of the decorations in there. So, uh, decorative artwork anyway. So, it uh, looks like a uh, golden, yellowish color, hazy, white head up on top of that, about a half a finger left on there. Looks like bright orange there in the uh, camera, but it's definitely not that. Oh, no mistaken. Cucumbery dill pickles. So, does it taste like I just opened up a can of dill pickles? No, it doesn't taste like that. More of a cucumbered, um, maybe like a pickle that you might have canned yourself or something like that. More along those lines. The saltiness is there. Uh, the saltiness actually should go fantastic with this pickle. That's pretty much uh, what the what the uh, aroma is. Is like a uh, like a homemade like a uh, can like you canned it yourself, like uh, cucumbers and the pickle pickled cucumbers, canning that type of stuff yourself. So, hey, let's get a drink on. See what it's all about. A little bit of uh, definitely a little bit of a pickliness to this. Okay, thinner body mouthfeel, crisp, carbonated mouthfeel. Dry finish on the back of this. What do I taste? Saltiness, of course. Um, taste, taste the salty goza. Um, part of the beer is, is still there. But I do pick up a mild pickle juice. Uh, maybe if I took uh, like a like a 
some type of a go, uh, goza, uh, sea salt, um, goza style beer and just kind of add a little pickle juice into it. Hmm. Definitely taste the pickle. Uh, more of a cucumber uh, pickledness to this than a uh, like a dill pickle or something like that. Definitely not like a hamburger slice or anything like that. I did pay $1.99 a can for this. So it's kind of got that salty sourness, um, a saltiness and a sourness to it. Um, but the 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 yeah, pickle, the pickled part of it isn't crazy in your face, which it's kind of it's kind of toned down a little bit. It's there. It's there. There's no mistake in it's there, but it's not as in your face as I thought it might be. Because there's no doubt, you take a big swig of pickle juice, you're going to pucker up a little bit, probably. Um, nice saltiness to this. Everything about this is pretty good. It's not as uh, in your face as I thought it was going to be. It's very uh, subtle on everything, in my opinion. Wow, in fact, it's not too bad. Is this something I drink all the time? No, no way. Um, it's something I drink every once in a while. Kind of a... Uh, a novelty type of beer. That's kind of what it is. As far as scoring this, I'm going to give it about a 3.85 um, out of 5. Uh, it's definitely one of those novelty type of things I think you should try to pick up. Uh, is it worth a six-pack? Probably not, but is it worth picking up just for the uniqueness of it? Yes, it is. So, hey, anyhow, like, subscribe, comment, check me out on social media. Like I said earlier, drop a comment down below.